Hi everyone, welcome back. Just a really quick video today because I wanted to show you this before it disappears into our loft, hopefully forever. Um, if you hadn't guessed, this isn't an, uh, an elephant's drum. Um, <laughs> this is basically the extraction system for a brand new bathroom. Now it looks pretty, when I first saw this I thought, oh my goodness, it's totally over the top. But um, like with everything, we like to go belt and braces. We have had a little bit of a damp and mould problem in this house before. Just, um, just very slight, but we were really aware that we didn't want to be introducing more moisture into the house. We really thought this was an opportunity to try and sort the problem out. So we're actually connecting this to our old bathroom and to our new bathroom here. We've drilled a hole in the ceiling, um, which I'll show you up there. And this basically is going to attach to, it's going to go up into the loft, part of it's going to attach to the ceiling and the other part's going to take the moisture from the room and draw it outside. Now, if we hadn't gone for this approach, our other option would have just to have, be to have a surface mounted fan, which you can pick up for around £30 and they seem to do an extraction rate of something around 70 to 80 cubic metres um, of moisture per hour. This, on the other hand, does over 200. So it's a much superior extraction system. Um, one of the things about the surface mounted fans as well is a lot of people just don't really think about ventilation when they're designing their space. They don't think about it until afterwards and they end up just pushing all that moisture out into the loft. So they might connect it into a hole in their ceiling or their wall and then just push it there. But it really, you've got to take the moisture outside otherwise you're creating problems for yourself. So we got this from Screwfix, um, fixed it all up and wired it all up yesterday and it's all ready to go today. We're going to fix it upstairs so it's going to disappear. Okay, so I've just popped into our old bathroom and we've also got this Man Rose fan hooked up. And with me I've got this little device which is an anemometer and uh, it's basically a vane that measures airflow so we can use it to work out whether or not our fan is actually working. Now we've got the fan on the medium setting. I'll just give you an in a, a demonstration of this. <sighs> if I blow that around you can see that that's moving around. So I'm going to pop that up into the extraction point there and we can see whether or not it's actually taking anything out of the room. Right, immediately you can see that's moving around nice and quickly and it's giving us a reading on here of about 6.25 it seems to be averaging at. So it seems to be working well. As we've got the same fan in this bathroom as the other bathroom, we've got the same airflow rate in here, so now we can do some calculations. So using this laser measurer, I'm going to work out the overall cubic meterage of the bathroom. I just need to take the height, the width and the length. Okay, so I need the length, which is 2.17. The height, which is 2.69, and the width, which is 1.55. If I multiply these together, then I've got my cubic meterage of the bathroom. If it's too late for you to improve the extraction system in your bathroom, don't be downhearted because as ever, nature has a solution. When I was researching plants in my bathroom, which I was just looking for um, from an aesthetic point of view, I discovered that there's several varieties that actually can improve the condensation in your bathroom. In particular, the Boston fern is apparently really, really good at um, improving the condensation. So I'm going to do a separate video on this anyway, but it was just a point to mention today. This isn't a Boston fern, by the way. This is just what I've got, but I have got one on order. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. We will show you the whole bathroom and how we put it all together um, very shortly. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe and come back soon. Bye-bye.